look at the second part of verse 21. Because he has made him who knew no sin, that substitution. But here's the other half. And that's why it's so important that we examine who Jesus Christ was. Because whoever saves us has to be strong enough to, to be a perfect sacrifice for sin. That's substitution. But then it says that we might be made, the end of verse 21, the righteousness of God in him. So this person has to be a perfect substitute, but they also have to have something perfect to give us. And that's called imputation. And if you're a Bible marker, I have written in my Bible by the first half, substitution, by the second half, imputation. What is imputation? That is, and listen, that's the other half of salvation. Jesus lived all righteousness that he might live a completely full life without sin. Absolutely perfect. Jesus did everything perfectly. He didn't sin in any way. He perfectly lived in his childhood, in his relationships to everyone, his parents, in the synagogue, to his nation, to his neighbors, to his enemies. He lived a perfect life in every way. He absolutely lived a righteous life that none of us ever could. None of us ever have. None of us ever could. Because God says not only do you have to have your sin removed, but you've got to be perfect to get to heaven. And even with our sins removed, we can't be perfect. We're still living in the flesh, and sometimes we yield to that flesh, and sometimes we sin. So the other half of salvation is in the bottom of verse 21 here, which says that we might become the righteousness of God in him. That's Jesus Christ. How did he do that? Well, Jesus lived this perfect life so that his perfectly lived, absolutely holy life could be credited to our account. He just puts it on us. He just graciously covers us with his perfect life lived. And when God looks at us, he doesn't look at this checkered up and down mess that that we sometimes live. He sees the perfect life of Christ. You know, the more that Christians understand the substitution, all the sins are taken care of, and the imputation that God sees the perfect life of Christ in us, there would be a lot less of this moaning around that people think that God doesn't love them and won't accept them because God sees Jesus Christ. He sees us as we shall be. He sees the righteousness of Christ. Now think of the implications of that. God treated Jesus as if he had lived your life and my life so that he and his righteousness could be ours. He treated Christ like he lived my life, and he's going to treat me like I live Christ's life. He laid his fury on sin on Jesus so he can lay his beloved love upon us in his grace and his righteousness. So Jesus got the rap for our sin, and we get the credit for his life. What a one, that, that's what salvation really is all about. But only one person could do this. Only one person could have the perfect death and live the perfect life, and that's Jesus Christ. And therefore, if we come in faith, repentant faith, acknowledging our sin, acknowledging that Jesus died and rose again for us, if we ask him to save us from our sins, at that very moment, the payment is made. In our account, our sins he bore, and then the righteousness is credited to us. Imputation, substitution. But think about that for a minute. When God treats us as if we live Christ's life, the result of that is Romans 8.1. You know Romans 8.1? There is now therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ. God treats me as if I live Christ's life. God treats me not that I live my life. He made Christ pay for that. He treats me as if I lived Christ's life, and he'll never condemn me. That's the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. And if you and I are persuaded that Christ did all that is necessary and all that ever will be necessary to bring us to God, if we believe that, if we believe he was our substitute, and if we, by faith, accept that substitution, he credits his righteousness to us, we're saved. And we'll know it. And that's the blessed assurance that Jesus is mine. And that's the salvation that we Proclaim and live.